Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. This is the Real Estate and Home Improvement Show. All week we've been having people come on the show telling us how to improve our house, where we should order uh, solar, which plumbers you should hire, which landscapers you, you uh, should hire. But my favorite part of the show is when we actually bring realtors on and tell us what's going on in the market. And our guest, we asked an expert in today, Charlie Ruda, you're a realtor over at uh, Century 21 Jordan Link. Jordan Link, that's Welcome. right. Thank you um, very much. Is this a crazy market right now? Uh, can people buy houses now and sell them? They can definitely buy and sell. I think, Mark, if you asked uh, 10 different realtors how the market's doing, you're gonna get 10 different, 10 different variations. Answers, huh? yeah. Everybody's crystal ball is a little bit murky at this time, but. Well, I remember yeah. last year, a friend of mine bought a house and, and every time they made an offer, it went to someone else. So they actually had to offer 50,000 more than the asking price to finally get a house. Yeah, I know. Is we, that market behind us? That's somewhat behind us now. Okay. But it was an outrageous time for everybody. It was bad, huh? Realtors included, too. Yeah. Very frustrating. Yeah. I don't know how people, and my friend wasn't the only one who paid 50,000 over. A lot of people were A lot of people that. did. But I don't know where people get 50,000 just laying around. We were all shocked by how much cash was available here in the valley for, for yeah. doing that kind of activity. It's amazing. But now, if somebody wants to buy a house, are they going to have to come up with an extra 50000 or? Well, prices have definitely gone up, and they've stayed up. And that's, uh, everybody's crystal ball is telling us something different. But I wrote down some numbers before I came up All here. Right, good. I like this. This is some South, some South Valley figures from, from uh, Visalia. Just to show you that no matter what the media says about the market, the market's still active. It's still moving on. And what we like to say is that uh, life happens. Yeah. Things happen where it either forces somebody uh, into selling their home or else they they had a good decision, a good, a good happening. They got a job promotion, maybe job transfer. Stuff and, happens. And they got to stuff. Got to sell, sell the house. house. Mm. Divorce, death, whatever. Yeah. So again, like I say, life happens. So, and as a result of that, many families are selling because either they want to or they they have to. Mm -hmm. For example, in the month of August, which is the last complete month we have on record, um, just in, in the Tulare County area, we had 417 families that came on the market to sell wow. their home. But even that's a good number, but that's really a, like a 25% reduction from last year's figures. So usually more, huh? Usually more. At the same time, we had 337 families that went into escrow. They hmm. actually found a buyer. They, the lender funded the loan. They went to escrow. So the 400 and some that came on the market, 300 and some sold. So wow. And our median price is 366. I mean, now that's are you Fresno or are you Tulare or both? We're both, but uh, those figures are from the uh, Tulare, Tulare County, County area. Yeah. yeah. But those figures, 366 medium figure, I mean, that's $366,000. Mm -hmm. That's a, still a very high price. Yes. And prices are not coming down. They're staying firm. They're so going, yeah. It's good news for sellers mm -hmm. and uh, somewhat bad news for buyers because when the interest rates went up, now they're floating between 6 and 7%. Yeah. So it's a high figure. We're well, not we're I bought not my used first house at 9%. We were lucky to get that. We are happy at 9%. But you know, are, are they high now or is it kind of where it's supposed to be? I think it's kind of where it should be going, where it should be. I mean, the government held down the interest rate for so long. Uh, artificially, we, yeah. we got spoiled by two, two and three percent interest rates. Yeah, we thought it was going to be on forever, but it yeah. came to a crashing halt. But uh, my wife and I, we bought a home at twelve percent years yeah, 12%. ago. Twelve percent. Twelve percent. Back then, it was normal. Did you do okay on the house? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I did. I'm on a nine percent. I made two hundred thousand dollars on it. So it's kind of all relative, isn't it? It is, and it's this the other side of the real estate picture is that. Uh, Right now, there's a tremendous amount of equity in mm -hmm. homes right now. There's houses sitting out there worth yeah. way more than... Yeah, I, I read a report last night that says that 70% of all mortgages right now are at 4% or less interest rate. Wow. 70%, which means they have a tremendous amount of equity. Equity, yeah. And it came out to about $290,000 of equity mm -hmm. that's being, being out there for individual homeowners. Oh, my goodness. There's a tremendous amount of equity out there, but of course... The interest rates affected the buyers and the sellers. Mm -hmm. It's bad news for buyers, but sellers saying, okay, if I sell now, I'll get a high price, but yeah. where am I going to go? Then they got to go buy another house with uh, a yeah, higher interest rate. At a higher interest rate, yeah. yeah. So that's why the inventory is so low right now. There's yeah. a lot of homes yes. coming to the market. But people are buying. Yeah, they're buying for sure. And somebody out there renting and spending a couple thousand a month on rent, they might have, should look at buying, I would imagine. Yeah, they should look at buying because, um, again, like you said, the prices are not coming down. Right. Interest rates are going to hold firm, I think, in the upper sixes, upper sevens. So I, I don't, I don't see that coming down at all. And they should buy because once uh, the interest rates come down a bit, 
more buyers are going to flood the market. I see. Prices I see. are going to go up. So, so if they wait, oh, I'm going to wait till interest rates come down, then it's going to be more competitive. More prices go up. So. Prices go up. That's just the way it is. Yeah. So you just things happen. You buy now. If you're ready to buy a house, just buy a yes, house sir. now. Yeah. Buy it now, and then if you want to, if you want to refinance later, go. Like my wife and I, we did. Like many people did, we refied back in the, the were, good days of yeah. two, three percent. So nice. hundreds of people did that. Now, um, what if somebody's had a house? I, I talked to some people the other day. They're about to sell their home. COVID came. They don't want people in their house. So now they've been sitting in their house three or four more years. They have no idea what it's worth. Uh, can you help people with that? Oh, absolutely. And we do this all the time. Like you were saying, a lot of these people with uh, with uh, all this equity, they don't know they have much equity. They don't know. So uh, we can provide to them a free market evaluation of their home. It's totally free service. Now, I, I have people them. call me all the time. Oh, I looked at Zillow or Willow or whatever it is. That's not that accurate, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. It's really outdated information. Yeah, you need to get a professional. You know your neighborhoods. You know your community. You know the improvements a home right. has. And that's how you value a home, yeah. I would imagine. And we can pull up all the information around their area. Mm -hmm. I tell people, this is not Zillow, this is not the RPR report, this is your area right here. Mm -hmm. And appraisers like to use like a one half mile radius of yeah. the home, so we, that way they know they're getting current up to the information, yeah. so we give that to the homeowner, it's up to them to decide what they want to yeah. do at that point. Now, uh, you don't charge anybody for your services unless you sell a home. Correct. So why, why look at the Zillow, why not call a professional guy who's been at this a while who really knows the market? Yeah, we'll go, we'll go visit your home. Yeah. It's free us, to find out the it's value. It's free to find out. Yeah. Tell us know what improvements you've made, and then we go back, work up the figures, come back, and present the information to you, and see what you want to do at that point. And then I see buyers trying to go straight to these companies and buy a house. But buyers don't pay you commission. You kind of work for them for free, don't you? Buyers, buyers. There's no need for buyers to go anywhere else. Go to an agent because they can drive you around. Yeah, drive you around. Show you anything you want to see in town. And you don't charge them. There's no charge for them. Yeah. Yeah, no buyers really should go to a, an agent. So. Yeah. You have time for buyers? You have time for sellers? We have time for everybody. <laughs> yeah, good for you. Um, now, what do we find at your website? You'll uh, see Charles uh, Ruda. Ruda.com. Ruda.com. Charles Ruda. Made, made it easy. Charles I, know. Com. I already got it memorized. <laughs> Nothing fancy. Here too. Um, so you'll go there and you'll be able to look, search anywhere you want in the country. Right. Oh, really? Okay. You'll take it to Pismo, Sacramento, wherever you want to go. Just plug in the address city, and those active listings or homes for sale will come up, and then you can shop around. People could daydream on your site if oh, they're yeah. thinking of getting a beach house, a Pismo, or something. They could look. They at, can look at Look up. around a little. If they bit. want more information? Just give me a call back, and I'll get it for you. Now, is this your direct phone number on the screen? Yes, it is. Two eight zero five seven one eight. Two eight zero five seven one eight. And who answers that? I answer that. You one. answer. I always tell people, don't go buy a house from some uh, a realtor who doesn't answer his own <laughs> phone. Um, no, well, I answer the phone for sure. Good for you. I like yeah. that, Charlie. Now, uh, what else do you want our viewers to know? Well, the big question that sellers sometimes ask me when I talk to them is, okay, if I sell my house, what am I going to do next? What am right. I going to do? I know I have a lot of equity. You told me I have a lot of equity. Right. What does that mean? Well, one thing, you can take all that equity if you want to, and you, you can become a cash buyer. Cash buyer, Don't wow. worry, why worry about the interest? Just buy, buy, yeah. buy your next property cash. Well, a lot of us aren't looking for a bigger home. I'm my age, we're looking for a smaller home, so I can take that equity, buy my last home, pay cash for pay it. Pay cash on your step. Wow. Well, it's, you've got an upgraded home, got a, maybe yeah. a new home. Yeah. No mortgage, your step. No mortgage, wouldn't that be great? Or you could use that same equity, pull it out, and just put as large a down payment as you want on the next house. Yeah. Have a lower mortgage payment, even though you might the interest rate might be high. Right. Later on, you could refinance that small more small mortgage, and you're set to go. Right. I used to have a bunch of kids running around. They grew up and got their own houses. So why do I need such a big house? <laughs> That'd be a good time to sell, take that equity, and and, and do and, something and with it. Yeah. yeah. And what other people have done again, because you mentioned the age component there. Some people have because they have so much equity in there. You'd be shocked by how much equity I've been able to help people with. Mm -hmm. But some people have taken that equity and they've used it to help their parents mm -hmm. or maybe their older siblings mm -hmm. to go into assisted living situations. Yep. Because that's a very expensive proposition. It is. And they can take that equity and help them get started. Yeah. So there are things to do with your equity there. Yeah. And help yourself and help somebody else. Or help your kid get their first home, things like that. So yeah. you got a lot of good ideas, Charlie. 
I appreciate it. Can it's people beautiful. just call you and kick around ideas like this? Absolutely. Yeah, that'd be fun. Absolutely. That'd be fun. Yeah, we work a lot of different scenarios. I bet. Last thoughts for our viewers? Just call Charlie. Just call me and I'll be, I'll be glad to help you. Yeah. I'm having trouble seeing that uh, screen there, but let me see if I can get it. Oh, charlesruda.com and uh, 559-280-5718. Charles Ruda, Century 21, Jordan Link. That's it. You know a lot about this stuff. Oh, yeah. And that's where you need to get somebody with experience and uh, get the right answers and uh, come out on top. We will be back with more Central Valley real estate and home improvement right after this.